of the wire can bend and twist a little better. The outside is the ground, aluminum, with a heavy protective covering. Somebody whispered this stuff costs a hundred bucks a foot. It's heavy like crazy. Fortunately, they only need it at the first tower. Thirty-five towers hold the line aloft for its ten kilometer run. And they got it done and powered up in March. We did it! There isn't much we can show you here because none of it's visible above ground. But over the last year, they've been burying like a hundred kilometers of pipeline running between the silos, and it's all done. Hi, my name is Richard Sen from Air Britain, Newfoundland. Hi, I'm Jeff Tetford from Clark's Beach, Newfoundland. Hi, Edward Keol, Calvert, Newfoundland. Hi, my name is Pierre from Newport in Quebec. We work for Lake Hall, you know. The big news in froth treatment is these anchor bolts and the very large flare stack they will secure. We're standing at the uh, 560 flare stack base for the Albion Sands project. The uh, flare stack is um, 318 foot tall. <laughs> From the base, a surveyor is guiding a crew that is working a city block away. They're building one of the points to secure the 15 tie lines to hold the stack up. The guys are positioning this big tie point with amazing precision, guided by the faraway surveyor. Four to the east, that means you've got to go four millimeters to the east, the center of this bolt. One of the 15 tie lines apparently is going to run right through this tent. It's coming to site in five sections. We will fully assemble and fully dress this stack. They already have the assembly area set and they'll lift it into place in one piece this summer. When you drive a big crane like this, you have to be aware of where the boom is a half block in front of you and where the weight buggy is behind you. You steer the crane with two levers that operate each track and buttons to operate the buggy. They're packing up some of these big rigs. This man's looking forward to being home for a while. Oh, it is a nice place. But I've, been, uh, I've been away from home for a year now, so it's... Oh, and just before we go, how are things at e &T? Hey, It's been a great winter for extraction. We've accomplished a lot in the last three months, and we've uh, got a lot of momentum going into the spring now. Just over Bruce's shoulder, can't help but notice the big froth tank. It'll hold a three-day supply of froth, enough to fill 150,000 bathtubs. They're using scaffolding that's like skyscraper window washer scaffolding for some of the high work inside. What a feeling of satisfaction. After three years of planning and execution, we've executed the last module over here, the bridge module. I'd like to congratulate the 17 iron workers from across Canada that came here to help me out. I appreciate it. A special appreciation goes out to Justin Billard and his crew for the hard work and the safe execution of all their work that they've done on this project. It's been a great job and we're proud to be here. Tailings, we had, a, we had the winter off, but we've remobilized and we've got Bauer out doing some pre-drilling. We've mobilized another pipeline contractor named Wilbros and they're well underway on some of the pipelines. And we also have the assistance of North American starting our civil works. And of course, JV drivers doing the pump houses and also the, uh, the mechanical equipment works. Been here since uh, February 2008. We're now into 2008, so more than a year. And we're standing here at um, the ENT area, and the PSC is now complete. Um, the modules at uh, this area, ENT, at uh, CNC and utilities are all placed. All the EA houses are actually here, and uh, they're now being hooked up in terms of cable pulling and cable terminations. Um, it's been a really good uh, year in terms of safety in 2008. We hit our targets uh, and in 2009 we're still running below and we hope we'll continue that throughout the rest of the year um, and into 2010. Uh, CNC is nearing completion now and it's been a really uh, a good job done by the guys down there. It's a tremendous effort over the last few months to get that up to the stage where it's nearly complete. Uh, we'll hope to complete uh, ENT area and then into utilities. Now SEA is complete with about 90% of the project by the end of the year. Uh, tremendous job by everybody. Uh, it's really good to get the job completed and uh, handed over to Shell, uh, who hopefully will make this uh, place a really good uh, going concern over the next few years. Now a final word from our sponsor. All these progress videos, including this one, have been brought to you by Shell Communications. You know, the nice folks who put out the expansion news. The newspaper everyone wants to read. Find out who's on the job. What's going on? 
Shale Communications, chasing down your stories and telling the world about what you're doing. Right, Tammy? That's right. See you next time.